the Women's World Open is just one of a number of leading events. And we've seen in the first two games of this match uh, that she's actually been very quick the court. It's going to mark a turning point in this match because at eight all, it uh, is going to mark a turning point in this match because at eight all, much better for her. She's been able to equalise. Absolutely, Ian, and she had uh, two or three game balls, I think, in the last game. Um, so that'll be with her now mentally as well. well that was a beautiful drop shot on the volley <laughs> looked a touch generous I thought Jenny I think Natalie Grinham was uh, very lucky there to get a let and clearly Natalie Granger arguing the case We can clearly see from that angle, Natalie Granger is such a strong player. Fantastic striker of the ball. Another lovely touch into the backhand front corner. Day. So, whereas Natalie Granger is actually currently ranked 14 in the world. Uh, and although she's a former world number one, this year has not shown... This is the best form that she's shown all year making the, the semi-final of the World Open. Of course, on her way to the semi-final, Natalie Granger took out the world number two. Vanessa Atkinson seeded two for this event. And that will have given her some confidence. Absolutely. I mean, that was a great result for Natalie Granger. Probably the best win that she's had this year. Of course, 14 in the world is very low for somebody of this calibre, but she's just making one or two mistakes now, and the speed around the court of Grinham is obviously going to be quite intimidating as this match progresses. She's done a lot of physical work recently under her new fitness coach, Alistair McCaw. The Amsterdam based South African. Yeah, it's amazing how when somebody keeps getting the ball back, how it affects, how it can affect an opponent mentally. I think we've seen, like you say, Natalie Granger's made a few unforced errors because she's actually going just a little closer to the line to try and make sure that Natalie Grinham doesn't get there. And in doing so, has made made a few silly errors. Of course, really, the way to deal with that is to make sure you take it deep, very deep first, and require your opponent to cover the full length of the court when you take it in short. That's a lovely touch, and we've got a great view of it, clinging to the side wall on the backhand. The other thing to bear in mind is that Natalie Granger has. Well, Natalie Granger is prepared to fight to the end. A really good rally. With fast pace, moving the ball around the court. But a let ball, and it's still match ball for the young Australian. It's a shame we couldn't have seen a few more of those rallies earlier on in the match, Ian. I'm sure Natalie Grinham is feeling worse after that than Natalie Granger. Oh dear. And with that, forehand volley into the tin. Natalie Grinham takes her place in the final by a 3-0 margin, 9-4.